Well, there have been several new developments in the case of murdered dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi. His son, Salah, arrived in the U.S. after years of being barred from leaving Saudi Arabia. This after meeting with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who was widely suspected of involvement in his father's death. And today, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan demanded the Saudis provide more information on the disposal of Khashoggi's body from their Istanbul consulate. And he had this to say about his country's handling of the case. Tabi. It's not like we don't have other information and documents at hand. We do, but there's no need to rush. Firstly, Saudi authorities will announce to people who killed Khashoggi. On Sunday, they are sending the public prosecutor to Turkey. He will hold talks with our public prosecutor in Istanbul. Well, let's, uh, for more, let's go to Istanbul now and speak with uh, Ali Mustafa. He's a presenter at the TRT World TV station. And Ali, perhaps you can help explain to us what is Turkey or President Erdogan's strategy here? On one hand, asking, demanding more information from the Saudis. On the other hand, saying that Turkey has a lot more information, but there's no rush to make it public. Well, every time we seem to have some sort of conclusion or move towards a conclusion, it seems that Erdogan ups the ante. He's upping the pressure. And especially with this latest conference, Keep in mind, it came a day after the Saudi public prosecutor for the first time admitted that Jamal Khashoggi was in fact killed in a premeditated way. In fact, a premeditated murder is what the Saudis are now, call, uh, are now calling it. If you look at the timeline, they started off, the Saudis that is, claiming that Khashoggi had left the, the consulate soon after entering it. Then more information is leaked out by anonymous Turkish sources. And slowly, over weeks, the story changes from that he left to he was accidentally killed. Then Gina Haspel comes to Turkey, is shown this evidence, according to our sources. And then the story changes again to now premeditated murder. What does this mean? Well, for Turkey, it means that the Saudis are accepting their uh, their line, essentially, their narrative. The two narratives are aligning, but as soon as this is happening, Erdogan turns up and says, we have more evidence. We want answers. What happened to the body? Who was the local collaborator that the Saudis claimed they handed the body to? What about these 15 plus 3 Saudis who've been arrested? We want them to be tried, extradited, and tried in Istanbul, because this is where the crime took place. And the Saudi prosecutor is coming on Sunday. He'll hold talks with the Turks on Monday. These are the questions that the Turks will pose to the Saudis. Uh, and just uh, briefly, just on this case, there's been a lot of rumors about what happened to the body. We've heard reports from Turkish media, cars, well, searches. What is the latest thinking there in Istanbul? Well, we don't know what happened to the body, and this is something that the Turks would really want an answer to. Keep in mind that most of the information that is trickled into the media, if it wasn't, um, if it wasn't confirmed by the Saudis, would be conjecture. But the fact that the Saudis have accepted 90% of the information that has come out, except the face of the body, the Turks maintain, but they haven't given any evidence so far, at least to the public, they say they have to the CIA director, the Turks maintain the body was chopped up and then taken either to Belgrade Forest, disposed of elsewhere. Parts of it might even have been taken back to Saudi Arabia. The Saudis say they gave the body to a local collaborator and don't know what happened. But this is the key piece of forensic evidence that you would need to complete that investigation report. All right.